Welcome little scientists. It's Miss Gisa and today our story is called My Mom is a Beekeeper. The story is written by Sarah Hughes. Hi, I'm Jake. My mom is a beekeeper. She works with bees. She wears a hood so the bees don't sting her. My mom keeps her bees in a big box. The bees live in the box. This is where they make honey. Bees make honey from drops of juice they get from flowers. We open the big box when it is time to get the honey. We take a close look. We move the bees. We get the honey. I help my mom put the honey in jars. Honey is sweet. I like honey on bread. How do you like honey? Let's go do an activity together. All right, little scientists, we are going to do an open-ended art project. Open-ended art projects are great because you can use your creativity and the finished product can just look any way uh, that you want. Um, there's no specific steps you have to follow. Um, so let's get started. I have, do you know what shape this is? has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So that's called a hexagon. And we are going to make a little honeybee cell. Um, so in a honeycomb, there are several different little cells where the bees feed their young. So I'm gonna use some of this packaging material that has little, round circles with air in them. And I'm gonna use some orange and some yellow um, paint. This is um, acrylic paint, but tempera paint will work great and it will come out of your clothes easier. So what you do is you just dip, dip your material onto, in, onto you dip your material onto the paint and then push you don't want to put too much paint or it'll come out as one big glob. You want to kind of um, see, you can see the little circles better if you just put a little paint at a time on there. And it's okay if you decide you want to mix some of the paint. that you can cover the whole area this is quite fun to do and then after you've filled in all of the white space you can add your little bees. If you've got little bee figurines, you can put them on there. If not, you can make your own bees out of construction paper. Don't forget to send me a picture of your honeybee cell. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.